We are excited. This has some super hyped. We have got many, 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 many. Uh, what do you say? Recommendations. Yes, it looks super fresh. What is up, guys? And welcome back to Hawaii Ola Part Two. What is up? <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and share with friends and family. Guys, we are so excited to show you part two of Hawaii. We could not even wait a day until starting the new. It's the same day. It as is the, the same. Last yeah, yeah it is. we just came back home to the hotel, and we made a stop in which we have heard so many uh, reviews. No, not reviews. Recommendations. Recommendations from. So thank you for all of our subscribers that said you guys have to go to Foodland Foodland Farms. This store, I was like a kid in there. Ida, look at this, look at this, look at this. They had so much good stuff, it was insane. So many good stuff. And I don't even know like where to begin. And we actually still, when we went into the store, felt full from the meals that we had prior. How crazy is that? That was like the only meal of the day. Guys, still we full. are in such a diet phase right now. Not competitive eaters, I can tell you that. No, we are constantly full. It might be the weather, it might be that we just have been dining for a very long time. Yeah. We're gonna do a taste review from Foodland Farms and we picked a lot of goodies. Yes. And we also know that most of them might be weird picks, but that is exactly what we... Yeah, we have a lot of different kind of <laughs> stuff here. We just took whatever we was like in the mood for. Right? Which is a real treat for us to do. And we needed protein too, that's why we took yes. those two at the corner like, there. What should we start with though? We should do this one. Yes, I think so. We too. should do this one. Okay. I never tried this. Either I have apparently tried this in Sweden. I have not. No, so not the the entire setup. Okay. I have never tried a setup like this. This is a spam. But it's called Masubi. Masubi. It's very, very, very hyped here in Hawaii. It's like everywhere. Gas stations, grocery stores, everywhere. And basically it is rice with like canned ham wrapped in a seaweed paper yeah this is the uh, how it looks the like the original with the with the spam on yeah like the ham but, but what we found was that they also have it in a chicken that that sounds much better to me <laughs> for me too much better and i think a chicken masubi we need to start with it yeah, let's so go i'm gonna that one. i'm gonna unwrap it that was 349 yes this was two 229 so Which the half spam. is a little bit cheaper yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it is actually quite a hefty amount of look at that okay it's I am a going. thick boy and we're watching the sunset guys from our balcony it's so nice Cheers. oh Ooh, that bite looks good mm. Mm -hmm. okay do you like it i could actually how's the it flavor again. is it good i mean i like chicken and rice in all kinds of setups wow Look at that. Mm. Solid. And I think if mm. you get it, like, if you purchase it and eat it right away when it's hot, it's better. Okay, I'm gonna have one more. Try with the seaweed. That's packed around it. Mm. Chicken rice. It's solid. It's not the best thing I ever tried, but. Comment down below if you ever had a masubi. This is the thingy, the baddie. Let's go. Mm. Wow. The saltiness and that has, that has more flavor than chicken. Yeah, I'm just unsure if I'm actually digging seaweed. I mean, normally I do dig seaweed, but blown away? Not blown away. Okay, not blown away. But, what but we, it's actually pretty good. I mean, I think this is pretty much the best um, musabi we can get on a grocery store or a gas station that is not prepped on a restaurant. Yeah. Should we go sweet or should we continue savory? No, let's go sweet now. Okay, and I, I'm, I'm too intrigued not to try this. What is it? Um, I actually haven't even Googled yet, but it says that it's ube mochesada. And in my head, and this might be completely wrong, and yes, I did not do the math beforehand because we're running out of daylight. Yeah, and we um, need you to comment down below what, why what it I, is, yeah. but for me, this seems to be a malasada together with a moshi, or like in a moshi kind of setup. For, for me, it's just a malasada. But yeah, but... Let's it, see. It, These are like very light, 
and very pretty. I like the lighting right now. Cheers. Okay, cheers. Mmm. Uba. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Nice flavor. No, it is actually like a mushy and a masala, masala in the same. It's very close to mushy, yeah. I think actually that this is a fusion between us two. And again, we might sound, yeah. See? It is a freaking mushy. Look how pretty this is. Mmm. Wow. That's good. Not too sweet, even though it's packed with sugar. It's like a powdered donut, but with a mushy texture. Yeah. Okay, I dig this. Okay. okay. According to everyone, Foodland Farms has a very high rating when it comes to their pork. Yeah. Oh, the line was insane. Yeah. And, and we still stood in it. Yeah, and oh my god, it looks so fresh in there. We have in here Hawaiian style taco poke. This is uh, octopus. Octopus, baby. Uh, sh uh, squid. I don't know what to call that. But we also do have their most famous ahi, ahi limu poke, which is tuna. That looks so fresh. I've never seen like that. Look at that color. Show them the color. Look at this color. Look at that. Holy moly macaroni. Pure perfection. And this is how it looks, the, the squid. And also this was the, the octopus. This is what was the most popular. Uh, octopus or Oh taco. my God, smell that shit. It's not shit. Wow. Right. Um, but guys, this, why we didn't take like full pokey is because we felt like we had had too much carbs already. We have the um, carbs there too. Exactly. It's so pretty, we were full. It's, it's a lot of rice actually. It's yeah. like probably. A, and yeah. we needed a protein. Look at this guys. Oh, oh yeah. I'm going okay, in. Okay. Yes. Strange. <laughs> Very chewy. Like an octopus is. But I think. wow. This was good. Flavor is really good. It's a little bit weird, so I guess the people that are like hesitant to, towards seafood, yeah, they wouldn't like this. No, because it's a weird um, texture. But I like it. <laughs> Me too. But I'm even more hyped. For yeah. This one, like seriously though. Mm, okay, that looks so good. No way. This is the most perfectly cut fresh freaking fish I've had in my entire life. Guys, Henrik, did you do you remember that you said the first night that you liked how? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just wait for that. Because what I noticed on that food truck Holy. was that I got a few pieces that still had like chewiness to it. Yeah. That one had <clears throat> in this one. Wow. Okay, that Ooh. is much better than the octopus. Yes, and we're we are most likely going to go back. Wow, okay, this, this tuna, guys, is, I, I guess this is probably one of the best tunas I've tried. They also have like fish that I've never tried, so mm. I actually think that I will try that next time. Look at the look at the legs. Yeah, that that freaks me out a little bit. Really? Don't so look at it. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Sug, proper now. First, we still have two more things, and one thing is something that we have already tried, and we thought it was actually very good. Mmm. Do you want to try that first? We're saving the best for last. I, I think, think so. Are. Stick around, guys. Okay. Choose whatever you want. So, these two are something that we tried when we were into the ABC just across the street from our hotel. Yeah. Um, and it's their like macadamia covered treats. No. Huge on that macadamia here. Yeah. And I think they have it as a form. Like they yeah. actually do. So this one. I've never seen those in America. <laughs> this is America, I know. This is America. <laughs> On the mainland. Yeah. No, me neither. Yesterday, Henrik said that these reminds him of East Cook Yeah, but look at it. It's very close. Look at look how the. Yeah, actually, it's really close. Yeah. Ice chocolate. It's called in Sweden. But the crispness to this. Here. Absolutely insane. I hope you can hear it because the AC just started. It has to be on all the time. Maybe. The a Sorry about the AC, guys. It is what it is. Mmm. This one is milk chocolate covered macadamia nuts and crisp rice. We we'll got love lar lies. Lies? We'll try this one too. Yeah. And this one. Yeah, it's this one. It's the caramel. Just look at it. This is just pure. Perfection. So creamy caramel and macadamia covered in milk chocolate. 
better. Yeah, this one beats that one again. Mm -hmm. I, I just really like the crisp. I would rate those like 8.5. Six chocolates. Last item, guys, which we also found both of us like, we need to have this. This is a uh, macadamia nut caramel <laughs> caramel bar. And, How good. And I, I mean, like, we have to eat as much macadamia things as possible. Ooh! Oh, look at this! Up, up, up. Oh my god! Wow, look, it's just dripping here. You go no, first, you, right? No, you, you should take that bite. Oh, really? You really love caramel, so... Ready, guys? Oh, it starts to get really bad here. Okay, look at that caramel. Mmm! Okay. Oh my god! Wow, that's good. Oh, damn. Mmm! Oh, good. Mmm, guys. I like the bottom too of it. It's like very uh, spready. Wow. Now that. Mmm. It's a 9.5 out of 10. 100 percent I agree. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Food and farms. We'll be back. And we'll be back with you guys on the next meal. Yeah. Which will happen somewhere tomorrow. How do you tomorrow? rate Food and Farms? Probably a solid 8. Point nine out of ten store. I agreed. Yeah. We like it. We will be back. Catch you guys again tomorrow with a new yes. place.